How to perform a firmware update with your IMRS Prime system. From time to time, we release firmware updates with the goal to improve reliability, functionality and usability of your IMRS Prime system. You will always find the latest version, including version number, on the following website, which we now display in this video, which is our service website. Please write down the URL or remember it because you will need it whenever you want to download the newest firmware version and upload it to your system. All our firmware updates are free of charge and can be downloaded at any time from this website. What to do? First, check the recent version on your firmware by entering the settings mode. You have to tap on the small cogwheel and followed by the tap on system information and your recent firmware version will be displayed here right above my finger. In my case it's firmware version 2.00. Now compare your number with the latest version published on our service website. If the published number has a higher value than yours, you are entitled to an update. Download the respective files on an empty USB stick. Very important, the USB stick has to be totally empty. You have to delete all existing files of it. Once the files are downloaded, plug your USB stick with the uploaded files in one of the USB hubs on your IMRS Prime control panel. It's on the left side of the housing. And then tap on settings again system information followed by a tap on system update and then search for update. The IMRS Prime system will now read the USB stick and if there is a higher version available it will display it on the screen. In our case a version is found with the number 2.08 so the Prime update file is higher than the firmware update the firmware version which is on your control unit and therefore you are entitled for an update and the update is ready. To start the update simply tap on start update and then confirm that you want to update and then here you can see system update running. Very important do not turn off the device during the update process and do also not touch the unit in any way and do not remove the USB stick until the firmware update is completed, which happens when you see the start screen again with the contraindications on it. So here we are again. The IMRS Prime completed the firmware update process and we are back at the start screen with the contraindications. Just confirm it. After every firmware update, you have to reconfigure the audio channels, so process as you did when you did the initial installation of the IMRS Prime. A melody will automatically be played. You have to select if the melody can be heard right now from the display unit or not. Right now I hear nothing, so I tap on output on headphones or hear nothing. If I still hear nothing, I put nothing. Now we can hear the melody through the loudspeakers built in the control panel. We confirm that and the audio configuration process is done. Next step is initializing applicators again. After each firmware update the uh, IMRS Prime need to read all applicators and additional options which are plugged into the connector box or the control unit such as the Hexagon Brain or Hexagon Sense. And then the home screen appears again and as you can see your options are now gone again because also after every firmware update you have to wake up your options which you bought together with your IMRS Prime system and therefore you need your activation code again which is printed on your commercial invoice. If you don't find your activation code again or your invoice and you don't remember it you can always call your respective country office 
Or you can also talk to your Swiss Bionic representative. He will or she will happy to guide you and help you to acquire the activation code for you. So how to activate? Again, we go to settings. First of all, we can check in system information whether the new firmware update has been accomplished. You can see it here. It changed from 2.00 to 2.08. So that's done. And now we go back to the settings menu and go to options. And here we have to type in the activation key which we initially received with our on our commercial invoice. So in my case, I reactivated to a hybrid system. Remember, capitals or not, doesn't matter. And we go on unlock. And then we can see the following option is activated, hybrid. Okay. And then we can go back to the home screen. A fast reboot, back to the start screen. We again confirm the IMRS Prime is again initializing all applicators. Once this has been accomplished, you will be automatically tracked to the home screen where you see all your available options. If you belong to the users who never ever did a firmware upgrade on the IMRS Prime and you have a firmware version which is older than 2.00. All firmware versions below 2.00. 1.xx. Very important, you have to perform a firmware update from 1.xx to 2.00 first before you perform any additional firmware update with versions higher than 2.00. So again, if you have still a firmware on your IMRS Prime control unit with a number less than 2.00, meaning 1.xx, you need to perform a firmware update to 2.00 first before performing any further firmware update to higher versions. You can also find the version, firmware version 2.00 on our service website, which we again display in this video. Make sure that you check first, because if you don't do this, if you would directly upgrade from 1.xx to 2.0 higher, 2.1, 2.2, then the system will collapse and you would have to send it in for recovery. So please be aware of that very, very important feature.